keeping it simple. It does not mean you are not gonna get your desired results. It just means you're smart. Oh my god, I wore, I wore my angel shirt today. If that's a sign, then it's a sign. And that's also a sign. <laughs> If you've clicked on this video, this message is probably for you. If it's not, then it's not. But it probably is because you clicked on the video. Now, a collective thing that has been coming up for myself and people around me and collectively, globally, is keep it simple. Do not overcomplicate things. However this resonates for you, you were the one that knows your life better than me, it can be one area of your life that's probably in the forefront of your mind, or it can be multiple areas, all areas of your life. I advise whatever you do, keep it simple. Online, there's a lot of people selling their course and whatnot, and it's like, you need to know this special method to do it, and here's the five plan thing you need to do. I know the secret, and you don't know the secret. Listen, there's no secret. There is no secret. Did you hear that? There is no secret. Guys, everything in life is inherently simple. Now, if you think simple means it's gonna be rubbish and it's not gonna accomplish things, like I need to overcomplicate things because then I get more success, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. I'm telling you. Who told you that? Someone trying to sell you their course. How does it feel to overcomplicate things in your body and tell me how's that feel inside of you? compared to keeping it simple. Does it evoke anxiety? Does it evoke stress? Does it evoke fear? Does it evoke rushingness? Compared to keeping it simple, do you feel peaceful? Do you feel calm? Do you feel a weight has been lifted? That is how you know. Your body is your compass and whatnot. Your body is your eternal guidance system. Like, listen, your body knows. Do you want to live your life in stress or do you want to live your life in peace because that's not going away that that means it doesn't resonate for you your body is telling you that hey bitch like listen up this ain't it this ain't for us so it's guiding you towards the peaceful option which is keeping it simple with consistency consistency compounds if you keep doing what you know you should do to get the results, you will get them. If you keep doing them. And then this thing, and it's like, oh, if you if this isn't working, try something else. Like, if you know it's gonna work, if you try, if you feel it internally, it's like I know this is gonna work if I keep going at it. Weight loss. We all know how to lose weight. You burn more calories than you eat. You need to be in a calorie deficit. That is how you lose weight. If you are eating in a calorie deficit. You are burning more calories than you are using. So you're gonna lose weight. Maybe you can't see it right now. In the mirror, you look in the mirror. If you want to lose weight, I have a couple of videos on how to manifest weight loss. I do recommend if you are struggling with that. But essentially, you look in the mirror, you think, okay, I have lost weight. Come by the next day, I have lost the weight. Come by the next day, I have lost the weight. This isn't working. I'm gonna stop. I am need to change it. I need to do Pilates now. I've heard Pilates is the next biggest trend, or I'm gonna try weightlifting, or I'm gonna try keto. Like, you don't need to change. If you keep, if you know in here, in here, in your gut, and in your heart, in your brain, in your intuition, in your third eye, in your side focus, in your heart chakra, <laughs> in your throat chakra. <laughs> if you feel it, guys, if you feel, okay, I know this is gonna work, you have to really tune into your intuition. But that's the most important thing. If you feel it's gonna work, you keep consistently doing that thing, you will get the results. I'm telling you, consistency compounds. Little by little, then all at once. I say the compound effect is like literally the opposite of the snowball effect. You know they say the snowball effect is like uh, going downhill. The compound effect is like going uphill. So the compound effect can be depicted as a visual representative of you going up a mountain. Now here you are, look how cute you are. <laughs> You're climbing a mountain and you start off with little strength because you've never climbed a mountain before. However, with each step you take, you get stronger, you build more muscle, therefore more strength, more strength to go up the mountain until you get to the top. If you keep going, you will get there. Look, 
There you are. And I've even drawn a little smile on your face. And the stars that I've drawn around you reflect the tools, the lessons, the mindset shifts that you've gained from embarking on this journey. Now we have the snowball effect. It's usually depicted as a negative thought process in things like therapy and psychology. But if you're not familiar with the snowball effect, you start off as a small little snowball, then it gets bigger as you go down the hill, collecting more snow, connecting more snow, collecting more snow, until it's massive and fall into the sea of... Well, you can read that. So just by keeping it simple, it does not mean you are not going to get your desired results. It just means you're smart. Guys, we are in the age of Aquarius now. We are in the new paradigm. We are in the new earth. Okay. And um, I know I joke, but it's true. And if you don't think it's true, you're wrong. Because according to the encyclopedia of... It's happening regardless. Like, we are in the new earth now, and if you can't visually see that collectively, uh, I'll explain it for you. So, let me put this down so I can use my hands accessibly. Here's the earth, right? Split down the middle. Some people are conscious, some people are unconscious. That's literally the premises of it. You can see this everywhere in politics. It's so divided now. I don't know, 10 years ago, it wasn't such a big thing politically, really. Like, you're like, okay, you're conservative, you're liberal, like, um, right wing, left wing, like, it's kind of taboo. Like, it is so extreme now, it is clear there is a divide. And then we've got AI, and then we've got people wanting to do homestead. Like, we've got the extremes. We've got freaking robots living among us now. And then we've got people that are starting their own farms, starting their own communities rurally, no social media, no phone, growing their own food. There is such a divide. So going into the new earth, there's gonna be a lot of changes, not just this divide. What was working 10 years ago will not work now for the best. We were in the age of Capricorn or something and it was built around infrastructures and big corporations and you need to hustle to get to the top. Now manifestations are coming in so much quicker. I've heard time is speeding up, but I don't really want to believe that. So I'm just going to like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why I mention this is because keeping it simple will serve you going into this new earth, this new paradigm. When you are just focused on one thing, your attention is not diverted to this, to that. Say for example, a famous basketball player. Do you think the basketball player was like, hey, mm, I'm gonna do like a little bit of basketball and then I'm also gonna take my bachelor's degree in mathematics and I'm also gonna do maybe hockey on the side? Like, no. From 12 to 14, you went from scoring zero to being the best in the yep. state of all ages. Yep. But it's, it's simple, like, if you do the math on this, right? Like if, you, if you're thinking about how often kids are playing, mm -hmm. right? I tell this to my, to my daughter and my daughter's team as well that I coach. It's a simple thing of math. If you wanna be a great player, if you play every single day, two, three hours, every single day, over the course of a year, how much better are you getting? Most kids will play maybe, you know, an hour and a half, two days a week. Right. Put the, the math season, on it. It's, not, it's, not, it's okay. not gonna get it done. It's not gonna get it done, right? So if you're obsessive, obsessive, obsessively training two, three hours every single day, over a year, over two years, they're accelerating. You make quantum leaps, man. Just he just spent hours and hours and hours and hours making that shot, making that shot again, making that shot again. Do you know how freaking good he was at making that shot? He could do his freaking eyes closed. He had no doubts that he would get that in the net. Now, say he started doing a philosophy degree and a master's and a piano lesson and blah, blah, blah. he would not have been the best. So if you want to get the best at something, keep it simple. Just do that one thing. There's a book called The One Thing for a reason. You know, it's like the law of attraction. What you focus on, you attract. But also, if you have cluttered your mind with all these options, all this complication, you are not clear on where you are going and what you are doing. When you clear your mind out of the clutter, whether it be people, you've got like a toxic friend here, a toxic friend there, kind of nice but I don't really like him like it's not really what I pictured my ideal partner to be like but I'm kind of settling like if you're so clear this is what my ideal partner looks like when you go on dates you're like okay that ain't him that ain't him you've cleared the clutter one you'll get what you want because if you don't give up you can't fail that is scientifically proven I have a PhD in no BS if you don't give up you can't fail so if you keep going until you find the one 
you will find him and it makes it so much easier to say no to things when you are so clear on what you want you know each day what you are doing when you eliminate the decisions that you have to make every day it clears up so much mental space and time and energy for yourself. If you're constantly thinking in your mind, maybe I should do this, but I don't really want to do that, but maybe I do want to do that, but maybe I don't, but I know, I heard that it's successful, and I know that you need to do this and this and this. When you cut that all out, I heard this thing and it said that people that play chess burn like 3,000 calories a session just by that mental thinking. It's just if you do like a sport or something, that's how you burn calories, like nah, man, this thing right here is burning up a lot of calories and a lot of energy. So when you clear out the clutter, clear out the decision making and you're just focused on keeping it simple, focus on that one thing, focus on making that the best you can be, you will have so much energy, motivation and time to make that the best it can be. So if I haven't sold you on the fact of keeping it simple yet, if you're still hesitant, if you're still like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that, like I'm a bit scared. What is the pros of you overcomplicating things? Someone told you to do that? Someone told you it's gonna work if you do all these things? You think you should? Leave a comment down below if you liked this kind of video. I'll do more channeling. More channel messages, more collective messages. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.